and she's from Stonebridge. I have learned that Stonebridge is a school. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to let her introduce herself. I just learned that her name is Catherine Tucker. I hope I've said it correctly. Catherine, you're most welcome. Thank you very much. And uh, it's nice to have you here this uh, evening. Evening, yeah, <sighs> this evening. It's great to be here. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, a Stone Ridge, what you do with them? We'd I'd love, love to. <laughs> so the Stone Ridge School is a school um, based in Kira, mm. near Kira Town. Uh, we're trying to do something a little bit different. Um, I ha we're about a year old and uh, we're coming to the end of our first year of operation. Mm. Um, I started um, at the beginning. Um, <laughs> I've been in Uganda. I'm, I was originally grew up in England. Um, oh, where in England? In London. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear. Uh, the, the accent tells it. I gave it away. <laughs> <It's a British laughs> <accent>. <laughs> but I think I'm now Uglish because I think I've, no. I've, I've earned the badge. I've lived no, in, no, Uganda. No, no, no. I've in Uganda. I first came to Uganda in 1994, so oh, I was wow. a teenager then. And my auntie was uh, the deputy head teacher at Gayaza High School. So I came and spent a year at Gayaza High School as a teenager. Oh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> and it kind of changed my life forever, really. <laughs> so you're an OG of Gayaza High I'm an OG, yeah. And you know never it. give up. <laughs> <laughs> I can see most Gayaza girls saying, oh, she's one of us, she's one of us. So tell us your journey from Gayaza to now doing Stone Ridge. Well, I, you know, I think it's an important journey because I think when I came to Uganda, I got to experience a quality education system Mm. And um, since then, I've sort of gone on and studied education at Oxford University and got a master's from Bath University and I've supported schools all over the world. Um, and I've always had this, this passion to really, I guess, build on some of the work my aunties did and really improve education in Uganda. Mm. Um, and really my belief in, in, in Uganda being able to be a quality education system. Is that, is that the vision behind Stonehenge? It is, yeah. So the vision is, um, you know, that we wanted to create a school. A lot of people say, oh, you know, if you want a modern school, you need to go to the international system. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want, a, um, and if you want a traditional school, that's kind of old fashioned and <laughs> <laughs> rather dated. Uh. And we looked at it and we said, why does that need to be? Um, and rather than maybe borrowing education systems from Britain where all the mm. teachers are complaining about it there anyway um, <laughs> and learning about things that are, are British why don't we just take the Ugandan system what we need to learn and um, the teachers deliver it in a modern way with when you say modern way what do you mean do you mean the teachers are going to be using like AI labs and stuff like that some of that yeah definitely so in fact yesterday I had a conversation with um, an uh, organization in America that is using artificial intelligence to help teach children to read. And uh, th they want to use Stone Ridge as a sort of a laboratory to so see... The, are the children going to have virtual teachers? Is that it? They will be. Uh, there will be some classes in Stone Ridge who will hopefully be doing that for learning how to read. And um, so... <laughs> wow! <laughs> the, first, the first school in England yesterday got a virtual head teacher. So we've really got nice. to, to move on with this. I think, I think, I'm not <laughs> nervous. I think kids in Uganda would love that. Your teacher is never present. They're just somewhere in the virtual <laughs> And, and do you know do, do, do you know how virtual teachers would actually help us in Uganda? It's because we will not be caned. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why I'm laughing, saying the students in Uganda would love that. They'll be like, the head teachers, where? Uh, okay. No, no more canes. So we have no canes at yeah. the Stone Ridge School. Oh, obviously. Um, yeah. But, yeah, so I, I, I imagine in the future in education that it'll be a time when every every classroom does have a, a kind of avatar teacher and a real teacher yeah well, that's amazing <laughs> that's amazing that's interesting now um you've talked about uh, ai is there anything else besides artificial intelligence uh that is going to be different at stone ridge so when we started um when we first sort of thought about stone ridge and how we wanted to make it different we went away for four days to entebbe with the whole board and we really sat down and thought about 
how is the world changing? Because, you know, my my three-year-old at school now is actually, you know, we're preparing them for a world in 30 or 40 years' time. Mm. And the foundations we put in now are really important um, as, as to are they able to be successful, not in today's world, but in tomorrow's world. Mm. And what is it that, how might the world change? And what is it that we might need to teach now um, in order for them to have the best possibility of succeeding in tomorrow's world. That's that's interesting. So you are sort of forecasting, saying 30 years from now, this is what the world might look like? And then you're skilling them for that. Yes, and I mean, obviously... You is know, your syllabus different? No, so yeah. we're using we're using the Ugandan curriculum, which mm. actually has quite a big scope and is very values based and has lots of skills. Mm. Um, obviously, a lot of the focus is always on the examinable subjects, but mm. the curriculum yes. actually covers a whole range. So we're making sure that we do that, and um, as well as as well as the examinable subjects, because it is important to pass the exam. Yeah, so you can so you can go on to the next stage as much as. I'd love to cancel all exams. They are important um, in in the system. So, but as well as that, we want to have focuses on developing children's passions, children's interests, making sure you learn a lot from music, communi- developing communication skills. Mm. I'd love to see a school radio station in the future. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, most of the school radio stations are in colleges, actually, <laughs> in Uganda. So, Stonebridge is planning to build one. Possibly. I'm, I mean, I know you're just mu- you're not. You're Yet years old, but it looks good. It yeah. looks good to me. Yeah. It, it, it's good because now for me, <laughs> what we studied in our years, we studied about the Canadian prairies, and I'm, I'm now asking myself, <laughs> how are the Canadian prairies helping me? Because I'm now working on radio. Uh, I do, do. Dude, you learned a thing or two about the Canadian prairies. <laughs> but I have not gone to Canada yet. <laughs> no, but if you want an urban planner, you'd know to make proper drainage. Anyway, um, <laughs> away, uh, away from the Canadian prairies. Let's speak about the educator at Stonebridge because it sounds like um, you're getting the um, already existing curriculum, bettering it so that it offers what's needed now but also skills them for the future. What kind of educator do we find at Stonebridge and are they equipped for the task? So, um, the type of uh, teacher that you'd find at Stonebridge, uh, what, what I love about Stonebridge is that the teachers and the students have a fantastic relationship. Mm-hmm. And the idea is not that sort of students are s- scared stiff and sitting in class, because mm-hmm. what the research tells us is that students can't learn when they're scared. Um, True. <laughs> so That's very... You don't even need to do research on that. Even just us. If you scare us, we won't do what we're supposed to do. <laughs> so one of the things that's like really powerful in Stonebridge is that it's a kind of the children are in a state of relaxed alertness. Obviously, they need to be well behaved and focused, but they don't need to be scared. Mm. Um, and one of the th- other things you'll find is class sizes are very small. So we've only got 25 children in a class, which means that the ch- teachers can really know the children and really see how they're struggling. Mm. Um, I think, you know, we're living in a knowledge explosion and there's so much knowledge out there. And teachers, when I, when I was young, kind of the teacher knew everything and they were the <laughs> fountain of all knowledge. I know. <laughs> <laughs> And I think now that, um, you know, teachers aren't expected to know everything, but they are there to kind of cheerlead the students on and help them access that information. And when they find it, be able to say, is this, you know, what bias that might have or Mm. where did that information come from? Or this is how you apply it. So we're doing lots of, we're doing lots of, uh, yes, we have handpicked our teachers. Um, I like to think we've got some of the very best teachers. And we're also um, including in that lots and lots of um, professional learning. I'm in the classes. I've just spent the last two weeks in school, going around school in every class and looking for really good examples of learning and celebrating that. All right, so let's talk about the Stone Ridge model. Uh, we'd like you to describe uh, the educational model you've developed uh, for the Stone Ridge School and what sets it apart from other schools? 
Yeah, thank you. So, I mean, I think I think what sets it apart is that we are really focused on developing the whole child, that we're really thinking about where we're going in the future and what the purpose is, and that we're not just focused on exams, but we're also trying to develop, you know, you yourself said you learned about the Canadian prairies, but yeah. actually here with you, I can see you're a really good communicator. And what <laughs> were the you. skills that helped you get that communication? And when we think about artificial intelligence there's you know we need to look at ways that we can be more human because machines are going to do things <laughs> that we can't do but being a communicator is going to be really important being able to have strong values being able to develop your character um so yeah like we talked about before lots and lots of sports lots of music lots of drama as well as examinable subjects, yeah. <laughs> Interesting, that is quite a good model. Now, uh, for the listeners interested in the Stone Ridge School, how um, do they learn more about the school? Where, where do they find it? Would like more details about how to learn more about the Stone Ridge School? And we would love you to learn about us. I think one of the things I love being involved in the project is while we're trying to do the best for the children in our care, we're also trying to sort of we'll feel successful when other schools are copying us we also want all schools to be following this model so please if you're a pair possible parent a teacher an educator or someone who's interested come along to the stone ridge school come and visit us i'll be very happy to show you around very happy to sit down and have a chat with you about your views on education um you can also follow us on our um, website and our social media um and yeah you're more than welcome so twitter facebook instagram you are on all those platforms yeah we're there we're there yeah right. what's the user handle uh, i think um if you just look up stone ridge school you'll find you'll us. find yeah. them okay thank you so much catherine for letting us know the beautiful work that you're doing at stone ridge in kira, <laughs> kira. Oh, in kira. Uh, before uh you know most of us we are parents and uh the school of fees <laughs> uh. <laughs> in this economy <laughs> I, I i really hope it's affordable that i can bring my daughter to come to storage you, you know she's, she's she's still young and uh, with whatever you've told me about storage i think i'm considering bringing her there yeah i mean i you know my grandparents really Im imposed on us that um, investing in education is the biggest investment you can make in your life, investing in your children's education. I'm aware that within the Ugandan market, that, um, you know, that we're, we're comparable with other kind of private schools in that sector, but we're, we're nowhere near an international education. We're not talking those fees. We're still keeping ourselves within the local model. Right. <laughs> we're we charging shillings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> the K Drive. The K Drive. Monday to Friday.